<laughs> okay. Um, hi, I'm Megan and I'm 21 and I'm a business apprentice working in the defence industry and I'm bisexual and I'm with Eden. Yes, yeah, so my name's Eden, I'm 21 and um, I'm currently a pharmacy student and I identify as a lesbian. And um, we've been together a year and a half now. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to talk about some things that annoy us um, about being a same sex couple. Yes. So one thing that really annoys me is when people ask who is the boy and who is the girl because we are clearly two girls. Um, people are very intrigued by our dynamic and they always compare it to a heterosexual relationship and they want to know who plays what but it's not comparable, it's completely different. Yeah and people are often curious like who's going to wear the suit at the wedding, like if we both want to wear suits that's our decision, if we both want to wear dresses, dresses like that's going to be our decision at the time, but it doesn't matter to your life what we do. So another thing that annoys me is the stairs we get in public and having to judge the environment that we're in and how we can act um, and things like holding hands. Yeah, because well. we don't really hold hands in public, no matter where we are really, do we? Yeah. Like, if most will link arms. And I don't think it's because we've, like, personally been <coughs> attacked because of it, but I think we just feel uncomfortable, don't we? We've been together a year and a half now, so... You just don't know what people are thinking. Yeah. Or, because I know one of my friends was holding hands with a girlfriend and she had someone come up to her and start calling and discussing and things like that. And you just don't want to risk it if you're not... But then you think that you should and you should do it in front of people to normalise it and then show all the younger girls and boys that could, like, that are low-key will be like oh gay but don't know it yet or whatever that oh that is alright so then they don't think oh I can I do that can I not they yeah. shouldn't even think it's an option so uh, there's a lot of things that bother me about being a bisexual and I feel like people don't realise how much birasia is real and they don't think that biphobia is a thing as much as homophobia but you always get told things like oh you're so greedy like just pick one or if if you're bi then why don't you just have an easier life and be with a boy than be with a girl like why are you making it harder for yourself and people always want threesomes, usually boys say that and people also accuse you of being actually a lesbian but you come out as bi because you're trying to soften the blow and not make it be as dramatic um, and also people think you're more likely to cheat because you've got a twice as a double chance of cheating because you've got more to choose from so people don't think you're loyal and there's also this weird <clears throat> mentality of oh, say if you're seeing a boy and they'll be more bothered if you left them for a boy than for a girl because they don't think that girls are as much of a valid relationship as a boy and then when you're with a girl they'd be more bothered if you left them for a girl than a boy but it just doesn't make sense like everyone's equal and it's just the same not that obviously we would leave them for like <laughs> um, a cheat or whatever but um, yeah. Uh, yeah so I think like one thing that's bothered me like identifying as a lesbian is that I never actually say oh I'm a lesbian like I'll say it with around people I'm comfortable with but I feel I often just go for gay so I say oh I'm gay because I don't know what it is it's quite a negative connotation with the word lesbian and um, and I don't know why um, but I know me a couple of my friends are we always just say we're gay and it can be an umbrella term I guess um, but yeah so that's one thing that I wish I was more comfortable in saying also I feel like People always rub it in saying, oh, you're really lucky nowadays, like, no one cares, like, it's not as bad as it used to be, but people don't realise there's a lot of casual, like, underlying homophobia still floating around, like, people using the word faggot is, like, an insult, and, oh, that's gay, or you're gay, like... Dyke. Yeah, or <laughs> shut up your dyke, stuff like that, like, that's just... That's not how the word should be used. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, people use them as like dirty words and they're not, and they use them as offensive words and they're not. And I feel like in the playground, it's still quite common that mm. like people should turn around to the kids and say, "No, you can't use that word. This is what it really means." But people don't. They just people don't. I don't think people even realise. They don't even register it. Yeah, and I mean, like the other day when we were at my house, my brothers—they're all younger and they're in high school—and one of them said gay, called him gay, yeah. one of my other brothers, yeah. and my mum had a go at them and said, you know, that's not how we should use that word, blah, blah, blah. but, and we knew it weren't malicious, yeah. but he had no idea what, like, he was saying, he was saying yeah. and what an insult it was in that sense, but 
I think there's just no understanding of it, is it? And kids don't care really. Like we were saying this, where we were like yeah. your little sister the other day. She had a friend round and she introduced me as Meg's girlfriend, and a friend didn't even bat an eye. No, she just said okay. Like they don't. Yeah. They, like they don't care. Kids don't care. Like they're the best people to tell, and yeah. they don't. They shouldn't see it as a big deal. Like you should just say, oh, this is my girlfriend, and we'll go all right because they learn homophobia whereas yeah. if you nip it in the bud before they can learn like yeah. bad behaviour and connotations towards it and because it's a learned behaviour definitely I think people need to nip it in the bud before they like get to high school then they can correct their friends if they're like oh that's gay then they can say actually yeah and I think people should be more confident in correcting people yeah. another thing is when your friends or anyone you tell like who's female or of the same sex and you you know you've come out as um, being attracted to the same sex are like oh do you fancy me then like it's not the thing you don't fancy everyone you will ever come across yeah. and you know it to assume that it's quite it's quite isolating as well because you think everyone's gonna then assume you fancy them yeah and, and you get worried about like sleepovers or like getting changed and yeah. you don't want them to think you're like paving on them or anything yeah or, um, and like a major question whenever you know you meet other people is what do you do like as in what do you do sexually and things yeah so but we never turn around to a straight couple and be like oh what do you do like and it's none of your business and it's not like yeah like it's equally like not our business what you do yeah. you know if you want to share that that's fine but that's not that doesn't define us what we do yeah yeah, um, yeah. Uh, another thing that winds me up is when people find out and then you notice sort of changes in the behaviour um, towards you that they didn't used to do like calling your mate just only subtly like mate as though just laying down the rules like oh we're just mates by the way but then you notice that when they talk to other people of the same sex it's like oh hon bae baby girl so besides all the annoying things that go on there's a lot of good things and yeah a lot of positive live, things live a great life we're not disadvantaged at all no i mean like when we've come out to both like families they've both been really good about it haven't they yeah like and our friends yeah our friends have all mostly. been really good mostly um but it's also a learning curve like you do get upset if you do lose friends and things do change but you've got to think but it highlights yeah the bad people it highlights the bad people and yeah you don't want them in the like in your life do you if no. they're gonna be like that um but yeah we, our families are amazing about it um, and we're lucky to have people to look up to like lauren Haregi, hayley kyoko tracy van um Lady yeah this girl's really good yeah we're really good that we've got a lot of lgbt jade from little mate but yeah they're just very supportive we can yeah. look up to them because i think in the olden days you didn't really have anyone to look up to and be like, oh yeah, I can live a normal life. Like looking mm. at Rose and Rosie, we can be like, oh yeah, we can have a really good life. Like and we have life. a really good like group of friends that are LGBT yeah. and things like that, and a good community like close by. We're lucky that we've got Manchester. We can go to Pride, Pride and things like that, like that are close to us and things like that. Really, so yeah, yeah. And I think our generation's really progressive. Like, no yeah, one, no one's really bothered no and i think we are very fortunate to live in a country like you know things aren't perfect but um we do have more rights than most countries do you know we can get married albeit not in a church but we can get married we can, not illegal. there is options to have children we can adopt we can have ivf or insemination and there's options where some people don't you know so i mean we've still got a long way to come i feel but it's getting there. Yeah.